Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, June 13th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 698, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, My Fireworks on Earth is rumored to premiere. Seven Tan and Xu Kai rap filming as beautiful as you are. Today's segment of feature drama features the youth memories. And Yang Yang makes an appearance at a university to film a variety show. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today and the past few days. When I Fly Towards You is a modern youth drama starring Zhou Yiran and Zhang Miaoyi. It premiered earlier today. It follows a transfer student who falls in love with a bully and makes him change his ways. When I Fly Towards You is slated for 24 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. That's it for recently premiered dramas. And while we're on premiere dates, here's a rumored one. My Fireworks on Earth, the firefighting-themed drama starring Yang Yang and Wang Churan, is rumored to premiere on July 3rd on Hunan TV and Mango TV. Yes, that's Vin Zhang on the right with Yang Yang. Vin has a guest appearance on the show. As I mentioned on a previous episode, I haven't heard of My Fireworks on Earth passing review yet, so I have my reservations about this rumor. Nonetheless, I thought I'd let you guys know what the rumor mill was spinning out on Weibo. I'll update again if and when anything official gets announced. Moving on now, drama raps, and I have just one for you guys today. As Beautiful As You Are, starring Seven Tan and Xu Kai. The modern drama shared these photos of their stars with their rap bouquets on June 9th. Production started principal photography in early February, so that makes it an over four month film shoot for them. They've also shared their first batch of character posters. According to Douban, in the drama, Seven Tan is Ji Xing, a girl who quits her depressing tech job and starts her own business. She faces dizzying challenges before attracting Han Ting, an investor played by Xu Kai, to join her. Can they work together and climb to new heights in China's AI medical care industry? As Beautiful As You Are is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Tencent. More updates on it as they provide them. Next up, I have an opening Topan rating for you guys. In later years, the modern drama starring Hao Lei and Angel Wang recently got an opening average score of 8.1 from almost 4,500 ratings on Douban. In the drama, Hao Lei is a woman who seems to have the perfect life, house, car, savings, and the perfect family. Things take a sudden turn for the worse when her husband disappears, and when he is found, asks for a divorce. Those of you who are following in later years, what do you think of the opening rating? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. And lastly, for drama updates, it's time for another segment of Feature Drama. In Feature Drama, if a recently aired drama opens to plenty of positive feedback, I'll feature it on this segment. I'll talk about it briefly and mention some of the comments you guys have left about it. Today's feature drama is The Youth Memories, previously known as Where Dreams Begin, starring Xiao Zhan and Li Qing. The retro drama premiered on June 1st and will air the last of its 38 episodes on June 18th. It is available with English subs on WeTV. Set in the 70s, it follows Xiao Zhan's character and his buddies as they take college entrance exams, go into business, go abroad, and enter politics. They also meet Li Qing's character, a girl who aspires to be a doctor. Among some of the milestones the youth memories has already passed, it broke 29,000 popularity points on Tencent, which, according to the poster, is the highest so far for 2023. It also opened with an 8.3 score on Weibo's ratings, and on June 11th broke 2.0 on real-time TV broadcast. As the drama continues to rack up those views and comments, here's some of the positive feedback you guys have left about it on my channel. Just finished watching the first four episodes of Where Dreams Begin. It is a really good production. Director Fu Ning must have been really proud of the finished work. Good plot, good acting, and the sets, costumes, and camera work all put the audience immediately into that time period. Looking forward to today's episodes. I just finished six episodes of Where Dreams Begin. It is a really good drama. 
The pacing is so good. Hope everyone gives it a try. I'm on episode 2 of Where Dreams Begin too. People in the show are similar to my parents' age but during their youth, which is interesting. So far, the story is engaging and I like that it is somewhat of an ensemble drama. I am watching Where Dreams Begin and I am enjoying it. Great cinematography and acting. And finally, congrats to Where Dreams Begin. Great drama with great plot and character. Alright, that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates and today we begin with Yang Yang. On June 9th, images of Yang Yang making an appearance at the Beijing Foreign Studies University floated social media. Reportedly, the 31-year-old actor was at the school to film a variety show. He also ended up taking photos with students and teachers. On the day, he wore a casual blue-striped shirt over a white vest. His appearance brought glee to many bystanders. I'm sure nobody skipped class to catch a glimpse of the star. Next up for celebrity updates, I just want to quickly mention some of the honors that were given out on the recently held Weibo Movie Night. On June 10th, the 2023 Weibo Movie Night ceremony took place in Shanghai. Needless to say, it was a star-studded affair with a who's who of Chinese cinema in attendance. I came across a list of honors handed out on the night, and I'll just go through some of them. Chen Duling, Sun Qian, Jiang Long, and Zhu Yan Manzi were given the Actors with Most Potential of the Year award. Arthur Chen, Louise Wang, Sophie Zhang, and Zhou Ye were given the Actors with Most Progress of the Year award. Wang Yipo and Wendy Zhang were given the Actors to Follow of the Year award. Sung Chia and Zhu Yilong were given the Actors with Most Public Praise award. Shu Qi and Nick Se were given the Exemplary Actors of the Year award. Shen Teng, Zhang Ziyi, Frank Guo, and Wu Jing were given the Influential Film People of the Year Award. And Chen Kai Ke was given the Outstanding Contribution Director Award. Okay, before we get to our last segment, here's a story that's not entertainment related, but I got a kick out of it so I thought I'd share. It's a clear way legal article titled, Legal Trouble After Man Abandons Date and the Restaurant Bill. If I'm not wrong, the story was first reported a few years ago, but it recently resurfaced. Don't know why, but it is pretty much as the title describes it. A man went on a date with a woman. It was their first date, and at the end of it, he fled, leaving her with the bill. Except there's more to it. According to the article, a man surnamed Liu arranged a snug dinner date at a popular bistro, but became stressed out when the woman, surnamed Zhang, arrived not as a solo participant, but accompanied by a staggering assembly of 23 family members. At the end of the night, Liu was handed a monumental bill that left him speechless, 20,000 RMB, approximately 2,800 USD. So he fled, leaving Zhang to pay it. They got in touch again later and she demanded that he reimburse her for the whole thing. He, in a show of willingness to pay for some of it, offered to pay half. But she was not having any of it and insisted he paid it all. In the end, she took him to court but the court sided with him, saying that he was only responsible for his portion of the meal which amounted to roughly 1,400 RMB, approximately 200 USD. When asked why she brought her family members with her to the first date, Zhang said, I was testing whether the man who might potentially be my boyfriend would be generous enough to pay for all 25 people, including himself and myself. I guess he failed. On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark Is At. The title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm on episode 12 of The Youth Memories with Xiao Chan and Li Qing, following it on Wee TV, where it's available with English subs. A very sweet love story developing in an interesting period. As I mentioned earlier, many are enjoying the drama, and so am I. With that said, I'm making a change with the Where's Mark Is At segment. Instead of doing it every Tuesday, I'm just going to do it whenever I have something substantial to update on. Sometimes I'm not following any dramas, or I just watch a couple of episodes of whatever drama I'm following and there isn't much to update on. Other times I may have just started a new drama and I have some first thoughts, or I may have just finished watching a drama and have some final thoughts and I'll do a segment. Alright, before I let you guys go, I want to give big virtual hugs. 
to Michael and Katie Hake, who recently became patrons on my Patreon. Thank you guys for your support. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this show a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.